Hi friends, today I'm going to read the story of the three billy goats gruff. This is a really old story. When I was a little kid, my mom read it to me. So I decided I was going to read it to you. And if you stay tuned to the end of the story, I will have a special cute little surprise for you. The pictures were done by Stephen Carpenter for this book. There's lots of versions of this book, but the pictures are done by Stephen Carpenter. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats, and the name of all three billy goats was Gruff. Gruff, Gruff, and Gruff. The billy goats lived in a valley where there was very little grass, and they were very hungry. They wanted to go up the hillside to a meadow of green grass and daisies, where they could eat and eat and eat and get fat. But on the way up, there was a bridge over a river, and under their bridge lived a mean, ugly troll. First, the youngest billy goat gruff decided to cross the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. Who's that tapping over my bridge? roared the troll. Oh, it's only the tiniest little billy goat, said the first billy goat gruff in his very small voice. I'm on my way up the hillside to make myself big and fat. No, you're not, said the troll, for now I'm going to gobble you up. Oh, please don't eat me. I'm too little. Wait for the second billy goat. He's much bigger. Well, then go ahead, said the troll. After a while, the second billy goat gruff, gruff came to cross the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. Who's that tripping over my bridge, roared the troll. It's the second billy goat gruff, and I'm on my way up the hillside to make myself big and fat, said the billy goat. And his voice was not so small. No, you're not, said the troll. For now, I'm going to gobble you up. Oh, please don't eat me. Wait for the third billy goat. He's much, much bigger. Well then, go ahead, said the troll. And by now, he was very hungry. Just then, up came the third billy goat gruff. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, went the bridge. The third billy goat was so heavy, the bridge groaned and creaked under him. Who's that chomping over my bridge, roared the troll. It is I, the third billy goat gruff, cried the billy goat, and his voice was as big and loud as the troll's. At last, said the troll, now I'm coming to gobble you up. Well, come along, cried the third billy goat gruff. I've got two big horns and four hard hooves, and I'm not afraid of you. So up climbed that mean, ugly troll, and the big billy goat butted him with his horns and stomped on him with his hooves and tossed him off the bridge and into the river below. Then he went up the hillside to join his brothers, Gruff and Gruff. In the meadow, the billy goats got so fat, they were hardly able to walk home again. In fact, they are probably still there. So snip, snap, snap. This tale's told out. The end. Now, the surprise I have for you has four legs and four hooves. And it's my own billy goat gruff. This is Buttercup. Can everyone say hi to Buttercup? Hello, Buttercup! Buttercup is one week old. He's a Nigerian dwarf goat, and he's a boy. He has beautiful blue eyes, if you look close. When he's outside, his eyes, instead of being circle, circular, the irises are rectangular. It's pretty cool. So everyone say hello, Mr. Buttercup. Not gruff. 
Buttercup. Now, he is a pretty cute surprise, right? Only being a week old. We also have another friend. Let's see if we can find, find her. Bring, him, bring her over. It'll be just a minute. Audrey's looking. Oh, here she is. And Audrey's going to pick her up. This is... Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Whoa. <laughs> She's going to push the computer over. This is Kit Kat. She's six months old. So you can tell she's a lot bigger. Just a little bigger than our cute little one. And we have all these new goat stories because we have goats. So we wanted to read some fun goat stories for you today. <laughs> Bye. All right, friends. That's all for today.